All right, chapter eight, part two twenty, railroad communication. Two, um, part two twenty, railroad communications. Uh, two twenty point five, key definitions. Employee means an individual who is engaged and compensated by the railroad or by a contractor to the railroad, uh, who is authorized by a railroad to use the wireless communication in connection with the railroad operation. In immediate access to the railroad means the railroad of the employees person is sufficiently close to the employees to allow the employees to make or receive the railroad permission. Railroad operation means any of the activity that affects the movement of the train, locomotive on track, equipment, tractor, motor, or car, a singly combination or with or other equipment on the track of the railroad. The Railroad Safety Improvement Act of 2008 or R, the Railroad Safety Improvement Act Section 306, Railroad Safety Improvement Act, Railroad Ma Ra Radio Monitoring Authority confined in Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 2106 2107C uh, allows the Secretary of the Transportation Secretary to authorize the FRA Inspector to the Monitor of the Railroad Rail Radio Transportation, and particularly with the provision of the Railroad Safety Improvement Act, permits the Secretary to authorize his or her officers and employees to engage in conduct without, without, with or without making presence known, various activities, circumstances, security fines to be reasonably included. Intercepting of the radio, radio communication with or without consent of the sender, other, and receiver of the communication, but only with the communication is in broadcast or transmitted over the railroad frequency, which is one, authorized use by one or more of the railroad carriers of the Federal Communication Commission, and two, primarily used by the railroad carriers the communication in connection with the railroad operation. The Secretary of Authority under the Secretary, uh, statutory provision has been delegated uh, to the Administrator of the FRA, the Title 49 CFR.149 MNO, minute, of, minute and seconds, the Administrator has delegated authority to the Associated Administrative Railroad Safety Office, Chief and Safety Officer, further delegation of guidance for the exercise of the railroad monitor that are being prepa prepared. The FRA radio monitoring policy, although the, FRA, the Railroad Safety Improvement Act challenge, changed the ra railroad ra radio monitoring methods, the FRA inspectors will be governed by the FRA current radio monitoring policy until the railroad radio monitoring policy is published and distributed. The FRA inspects may listen to the railroad ra radio communication, communication for purposes of the Title 49 CFR Part 220, Part 220 of the Railroad Communication Regulations while in the physical presence of the railroad authorized sender of the receiver for the particular purpose of the railroad authorized sender and receiver is a railroad employer or contractor who is transmitting the message and listening to the message of the railroad radio, radio station using a railroad-issued radio. The authorized individual must be provided with a verbal confirm confirmation of the FRA's monitoring compliance communication for the policy of the commission when um, compliant. When not in physical presence of the railroad employee, the inspector has the first obtained the permission for the proper railroad employees. When reviewing radio tapes and in connection with the accident investigation, accident and incident investigations. Part 220, Railroad Communications. The inspector will monitor the railroad radio communications in accordance with the FRA current with the railroad, railroad, railroad radio monitoring policy. Conducting period inspection observations to determine the degree of the railroad compliance with the railroad standards of the procedures. Monitoring the railroad procedures may be conducted at any location when the railroad employee uses the railroad Use the radio to transmit the receive railroad ra radio communications while railroad operations guidance of Part 220 inspections. While listening to the railroad radio communications, inspectors must follow the FRA's current policy on monitoring railroad radios. If the inspector finds that noncompliance with any of the provision Part 220 on the railroad property, the inspector should immediately determine whether the railroad company's rules adequately require the employees to comply with the Part 220. The inspector should use the requir railroad requirements for the operating and testing as compliance with the tools. The inspector should determine whether the railroad owns the operating ru rules in Part 220. 20 requirements, including the requirements to operating testing the railroad rules as found in 220, statute 220 25, instruction operational testing and employees. Inspectors should be mindful exemptions of the distance direction during the shoving of the movements, but strongly considered for violation of perhaps the statute 221 51. Responsibility to violation of part 220 should include, but much relevant information as possible, including times, crews, location, etc. An inspector should inspect and observe the radio communications that are used in the railroad operation. The inspection of its observation site can be be any base situation, space station, wayside station, installation facility, until unit of equipment, mobile station, belt pack of the set, and the transmission transmit or receive the view communication connection with the railroad operation. Radio transmission should be monitored the determination and identification standards are used whether the person received the transmission proper re um, re response. Special attention should be given to the radio transmission the track warrants, mandatory, directed train orders, send it, et, et cetera, since uh, serious consequences may be result in noncompliance. Considerization of violations, noncompliance with the following directives should be strongly considered recommendations as civil penalties because they are proven to result in radio fatality serious and radio, sorry, railroad fatality series injuries, major railway equipment accidents. 227 identification, 22049, uh, 
Railroad communication used in shoving, packing, and pushing. Movement at 220, 51 railroad communication signal indica indications, 220, 61 railroad transmission directives. All right, this section says that Part 220 prescribes the minimum requirements governing these use the wireless communication in connection with the railroad operations. As long as the minimum requirements are met, the railroad may adopt additional or more stringent requirements not applicable per the preamble to the final rule published in at 63 Federal Registration 47195, September 4, 1998. Final rule, Part 220 applies only to the voice of communication between the railroad employees by the way of the radio or not applicable to communications by modes as such as telephone, telegraph, automatic audio, audio signal devices, or the transmission of record messages by radio under Statute 220.5 employees means to individual engaged and compensated by the railroad or by a contractor or through the railroad who is authorized to allow the railroad to use the wireless communications connection with the railroad operation. Use of the railroad rules, uh, railroad radio may be by a person other than the employee of the railroad, non-railroad person, if the railroad permits other than the railroad employees to use either of the railroads and such as the op has the option potential interfering with the railroad operation, the railroad, the ra then the railroad should instruct the person, these people, to use proper procedures. Question, does the railroad or non-railroad person include railroad contract van drivers? Yes, and, but inspectors should be used the railroad use um, referenced in the inspection report um, meets the current definition of railroad operations as noted in the statute 225. 220.5 definitions all inspectors should be used to in, indicate include the information of their inspection. The key determination factor is that the channel is with the non operational communication occurs if the taxi driver, car inspector, or other employee um, uses the railroad channel to engage the non operational communication. The potential exists for the overriding operational communication. Therefore, the FRA considers all communication on the channel used for the FRA for railroad operation to be covered regardless of the nature of the railroad of ra radio communication. 209-220.9 requirement of trains for purpose of section communication redundancy means either the working on the another locomotive is consistent with another means of the working wheel wireless communications. Um, generally, FRA publishes the emergency award of the 26 EO um, 26 on October 7, 2008, and Federal Register following the September 12, 000, September 12, 2008, and then head of the on collision with the Southern California Regional Rail Authority, Metrolink commuter train, and a Union Pacific Railroad community company up freight train on chatsworth california the collision resulted in the death of 25 people the injury near and no, numerous others and more than seven million seven and seven one million one hundred thousand five hundred dollars in damages the ex emergency order 26 has res res resigned effective on march 28 2011 inspectors should um, reference the part 220 so part c all right, Part 220.21, Railroad Operating Rules, Railroad um, Communication, Railroad Record Keeping the Operating Rules for each of the railroad pertaining to the railroad radio communication must conform with the record requirements of Part 220, the 220.23, uh, Publication Railroad Information Base of the Wayside Stations defined per, am, per preamble the final rule of these railroads to use the railroad radios. The base station is generally understood with the main receiving the transmitting to the terminal where the train dispatcher office is located. The uh, term Wayside Station is commonly understood in indicating intermediate station between terminal Station um, statute 220 25 instruction operational testing an employee. Each employee with the railroad authorized to use the ra radio connection with the railroad operation shall be provided with a copy of the railroad operating rules governing the use of the railroad communication railroad operation instructed in the proper use of the railroad communication as part of the pro program instruction as prescribed in 217 11. Prescribe periodically testing the operational testing requirements of statute 217.9. All right, 220. 220.27 identification paragraph is a section of requirements the identification of each of the wayside uh, side yard station, including the name of the yard, railroad, name of the location, office, and the unique designation and order except as provided with the paragraph C of the section. Paragraph B of this section requires the identification of each of the mobile stations, including the name of the railroad, the train numbered, and if assigned other appropriate use and designation as the word locomotive or motor car, another unique identifier indicates the listener precisable mobile transition. Transmitting station and other oh and in that order except it's provided with the paragraph and C of this section. Paragraph C of the section intended to provide alternate method of identification in the yards with radio traffic is held high and to help aid radio congestion. Short identification in July 1994, the Federal Railroad Administration published a report to the Congress on the railroad communication and train control. In report, the FRA found that the radio um, related program concerning the human interface element in, in included the significant problems of failure in identifying the stations properly in reference. 
the Title 49 CFR Part Section 220-27 of the identification was specifically section of the 220-227 to show her identification, show her ID. Occasionally, all the questions regarding what the FRA considered to be acceptable in this regarding the regulation allows the short ID may be used solely in connection with the switching classification, similar operation wholly with a in the yard, but only in a, only for a, after a positive identification is first achieved. The full ID name ID must be transmitted and knowledge initially full. Further, short identification must be consistent with applicable Federal Communication Commission's regulations governing short status station identification. Um, concerning with the engine number alone may be used in short ID such as 3263 or the UP3263 following is issued with official agency policy in short identification. Inconsistent with the FRA position, there has always been a unique designation identifier during the radio transmission. In certain situations, use only the engine number would be acceptable in the small yard where, for example, the BNSF rates engine were working. However, the larger the Argentine and Barcelona, Northern Plate, etc., with the running power of the large number of locomotive leasing companies in around today, possibility of the other small, the mobile unit designation, the number and engine number may only not always be unique because they could be duplicated in multiple mobile unit unit engine numbers, like e.g. UP 326LMX, 326BNS, F 326CR, 323263, and the UTLX 3263 ballast regulator, 23263, etc. In identification of the mobile units in these situations, we have maintained the alpha characters should be all along with the engine number to be unique. Refer to the um, Federal, Com Federal Commission Communications Commission regulation on station identification, which is found in Title 47 CFR, the point section 90.425A4. This states in the industrial business and pool railroad license may be identified the station with the railroad and the train number, the caboose number, the engine number, and the name of the fixed weight side station. And the name, none of these forms the practical, any same. Similar name that may be designated with the railroad concern, but using the employees, the identification fixed points, the mobile points, the regulation further states that in the industrial business pool, licenses may request the use of special mobile units to identify or loo and assign the call sign and such requests. However, the will be not granted. Where there appears the proposed, the identification will not adequately distinguish the mobile units of the application of the mobile units of their license and error and area. The FRA prefers that the alpha characters be also be used along with the engine number. It cannot be le legibly hold railroads to stand in all situations, notwithstanding it may be borne in mind within accordance with the F or aforementioned Federal Communication Commission Regulation Title 49 CFR Section 220.27. And the unit identified must still unique when continuing the strongly recommended interest and safety that the better in all cases to use alpha characters preceding the engine number because of the main situation or likelihood to combat duplicity in numbers. Based on the fore foregoing and the possibility engine number alone, if in the unique that identified with the indicated with to listen to the precise mobile transmission s station. The responsibility of unique uniqueness the uniqueness of the identifier mobile um, unit rests solely on the on, with the railroad. They must ensure that no duplicate mobile unit engine numbers exist prior to the using an engine number along the alone during the radio transmission is connecting with the yard switching operation. Naturally, above the above applies only during the yard switching operation. The FRA expects the full identification to be used in all other situations. If the inspector encounters a situation where a duplicate multiple unit engine number exists in the particular yard switching operation, the yard is not using the alpha characters to distinguish them from each of the other during the radio transmission, the radio will subject the assessment to of a civil penalty. Further, there is systematic development in the areas the FRA may consider taking the appropriate enforcement actions. The, the, um, both of these numbers are identical. The importance of the proper radio is obvious. All right, the use of first na names and relying on sound person, uh, sound of a person's voice. Relying on solely on a pun of the first name, the sound of a person's voice seriously reduces the integrity of the transmission and could be disterious. If a preamble to the final rule, the FRA stated that the belie believes that the provision of the rule given with the sufficient latitude to permit the shortening of the transmission without resorting to the casual use of the name tags do not provide with the adequate identification. When an inspector officially hears a crew consistently using the first names over the railroad while conducting the railroad operation, this is an indication of the noncompliance of the part 220 of the co loco location. 
All right, um, question. A crew wholly with the yard determining switch operations on the lead began with the switch initial positive indication from the five minutes at about seven moves. The crew um, continued switching the radio to communicate with no identification ID, short or otherwise. The crew then short started with no ID, such as kick them ahead seven cars, that I'll do, and bring them back four cars, two cars, one car, and then I'll do. In this scenario, divided and did a violation of statute 220-227A and B occur. Technical violation of 220-227A or B did occur and the inspector felt and the short ID was too short. When using the short ID properly requirements of statute 220-227A and B do not entirely go away. They are merely modified or muted in statute 220-220CC. In the case of 227 220.27b, the three requirements subjugated by the 220.27c, which allows the railroad to use the short version of the requirements provided by the railroad meets the requisite conditions. They must first use the full ID, therefore they may use the short ID only in the pertinent yard switching operations. The short ID must meet the requirements of the Federal Communication Commission regarding the station identification, short identification section of the chapter, but boiled down to the identifier being unique. Note that nothing in the 220.27c presumes to avoid the fundamental requirements of statute 227 be with respect to the unique identifier the train number appropriate unit designation that can mean jump the jump or engine number jump job or engine number when necessary any other word the word unique identifier that indicates the listener to the precise for mobile transmission station the accepted the, ex, ex, the, ex, the exempt as provided in paragraph C in the language of both the 227 A and B means that nothing of the requirements have to be met. The railroad is all allowed to use the shorter version of the requirements as long as they meet the condition of the statute 227 C stated above. Again, this comes down to the unique identifier of the name and the name of the railroad can be omitted with the set of gas north either north end stretch or job or the STG 43 can be shortened. To simplify job 43, as Ann explained with the short identification section of the chapter using the engine number, then the FRA tends to discourage an acceptability provided with the unique identifier. The crew is making the transmission such as bringing them back three cars to job 43. That will do 43 technically not correct because they do not meet all the job requirements of the statute 223 to 2031. The conductor shall have the conductor to the engineer job 43. Bring M back three cars and conductor job 43. That I'll do. In short, member initiating with the transmission shall identify him or herself the name of the person stationed with whom or who she attended to communicate for the example for in the above example conducted to job 43 implies that the conductor intending with the transmission of the engineer that would be acceptable inspectors should consider the use of the longer handles making um, multiple inset and insufficient transmissions during the yard of the switcher operations hours after hour can be mon 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 monotonous Further, the FRA recognizes the strong human tendency to use short-term forms of communication. Therefore, the inspector may use his or her discretion. <laughs> Question. Many trains um, crews have used the first names as short ideas. These use, they, they use, the use of for, first names is not permitted at any time, anywhere, and under any circumstance because they are, uni they are not unique. Um, suggested inspection reports example the monitoring railroad in place compliance with part 220 description 220.0027b3 or 220 activity code exemption noted identification of each of the mobile station when necessary did not consist of the local one of a motor car or other unique identifier I notified that the NEBR train master of the intent um, monitoring procedure while observing the Nebraska Railroad Operations Centerville after attaching himself to the crew of the Nebraska Railroad Mode 1234 utility employee using the improper Proper defect identifiers coal or coal train, empty coal train on ten, in ten separate transmissions relating the movement on the, of the train is required in Title 49 CFR Part 220 or the GCOR um, grade crossing or, of or, or rules or whatever. Rule 202 coal train, coal train, coal, coal, coal train and empty coal train are unique in the sense multiple coal trains can be working at the given time. I discussed the condition of the Nebraska train master Johnny Rogers. All right, description 220.227b3, um, 220 um, activity code violation noted. Identification of each of the mobile station when necessary did not consist of the local motor, motor car or the other unique identifier. I notified the Nebraska trains master on my intent with the monitoring of the radio procedure while observing the Nebraska railroad operators in Centerville. After attaching himself to the crew of the Nebraska local motor, the Nebraska 1234 for Nebraska outlet utility play was used in the first name of the engineering of the train when directing the train movements. Approximately 8 to 18, 20, 8 to 1823 past the hour while directing the movement the utility employee transmitted. 
the following instruction with the engineer to Nebraska one two three four. If they, if I need five more Joe, since Joe is not a unique identified the Nebraska a utility employee failed to proper identification required in Title forty nine CR two two twenty twenty seven and B and three the as the GCOR rules two one and two to due to the serious name of the failure as well as re, re, repeated pattern of compliance I recommend the citing of the failure to violation of the federal regulations I could discuss the condition of the Nebraska train master, master Bob Divney. All right, continuing. 22029, statement of letters, name, numbers, and radio communication, phonetic alphabet. Preamble to the final rule of phonetic alphabetic impedance A, the part 220 is not only a recommendation, therefore, the railroad represents using a different phonetic alphabet may uh, continue to do so. 22031, initiating a radio transmission regula regulations require the employees to listen and to ensure the radio channel on which the employee intends to transmit is not being already used already. Inspectors should be aware that the communication on the railroad road radio to which the inspector is listening is to me may, may contain the communication and not hard, hear, hard, heard on the other employee's radio. Inspectors should determine whether the employees are verifying the person that they're addressing on the radio. The person with the employee intended with the communication employee makes such verification by listening and an acknowledgement prior to the new um, continuing communication employee shall require proper identification receiving party before the proceeding of the transmission. 22033 receiving the radio transmission. Um, transmission involving security forces per, per the preamble of the final rule. Transmission involving the security forces other personnel not involved with the railroad operation are not subject to the rule. Radio headphones some of the railroad ra ra train crews are to wear radio ra ra to wear radio headphones the headsets are designated to eliminate crew members' complaints regarding excessive background noise from both sides outside of the locomotive to prevent hearing damage. The FRA has regulations on the use of headsets versus radio speakers in the cab of locomotive equipment. Detector transmission if in the application of the statute 22035 where a message is transmitted via the railroad from automatic device such as a radio alarm defective equipment. Detector is not necessary for the device to transmit a word over or out to close each transmission. 220 to 35, ending of the radio transmission over except the transmission relating to switcher operation with close each of the transmission with the response expect for the transmitting employee shall say over to the indicate the receiving employee of the transmission ended out except for the transmission related to tra yard switching operations. At close to each of the transmission in which the response is now is expected the transmission employee shall state the employee identification file with the word out indicating the receiving of the employee of the exchange of the transmission completed. As September 2, 2010, there were 16 violations written with the regulation 2010. Inspectors should document the circumstances of noncompliance in great deal with recommending the violation of the statute 220.35 of the enforcement action. 220.39 continues radio monitoring. Each of the radios railroad operations shall be turned into the appropriate channel as designated with the statute 220.23 just to receive the communications. Statute 220.43, Railroad Communications situ Consisting with Federal Regulations, Railroad Operating Rules, Railroad Communications shall not be used in connection with the railroad operating in the matter that conflicts with the requirements of Part 220 Federal Communication Commission Regulation of Railroad Operating Rules. The use of citizen band radios for the railroad operating purposes is prohibited for instance, not compliance with the railroad rules, such as profanity over the railroad or over the radio, a deficiency violation can be written. <coughs> <laughs> Statute 22043 with the reference compliant with the railroad hub any rules. Statute 22045 the railroad um, communication shall be complete. Any railroad communication not fully understood complete within the accordance with the requirements of Part 220 operating rules. The railroad shall not be acted upon. Shall be treated uh, the, as though they had not been sent. 22047 emergency railroad transmission and an in initial emergency tra railroad radio transmission shall proceed with the emergency. Re Repeated at every time the emergency transmission shall have priority over all the transmission. The frequency channel for the, shall be kept in the non emergency traffic for the duration of emergency communication, derailments, collision storms, washout fires, tracks, ob obstructions, or examples where the emergency ra ra radio transmissions are required. Inspectors must be used with good judgment while reviewing these type of the situation. If the train of the territory within two or more of the tracks experiences the emergency brake application, the train can. Who um, says no, nothing over the road um, radio? An incident might. Might be example for the compliance of statute 24047. Inspectors should always realize the true emergency such as a runaway train and failure to say emergency that required three times while reporting, but it might be understandable. 
Satchi 22049 radio communication using shoving, shoving and backing and pushing movements. An inspection compliance with the section um, will usually include the observation regarding the requirements as defined in Title 49 Statute 21899. Shoving and pushing movement. The Statute 22949 requires the radio communication used in connection with the shoving and pushing and the backing, pushing, backing and sho back, shoving, backing and pushing of the locomotive, of the locomotive, train and car on track equipment, and the employee directing the movement at the specified distance of the movement. The movement shall stop in one half of the remaining distance unless the distance and instruction is received. If the instructions are not understood, the movement should stop immediately made and may not resume until the misunderstanding was resolved. Radio contact has been restored. The communication has been achieved and the hand signals or other practice procedures according to the operating rules of railroad. When observing the crew performance of the shoving movement, the inspector must then consider with the requirement to found in 2 actually 2 shoving the movement meant some shoving and pushing movement because consequently inspection should be determined whether or not the compliance is both regulation when observing the shoving movement is defined in statute 2 including the regarding the remote control locomotives. The effects of statute 2 and 2 1893 on 220 49. When observing a shoving movement, the inspector should determine whether the employees are obeying the proper distance requirement that the communication is required in Statute 22049. The person protecting the movement is qualified and perform the task that's required in the Statute 21899. Inspector should also consider the employee involved with the shoving movement. And, uh, and uh, had, the ha had the required job briefing that includes both means of the com communication with the locomotive engineer who protects the shove and how the point of the protection is provided to not engage in any unrelated tasks during the protection of the shove. Has a visual determination of the track is clear. The inspector should note that the definition of the track is clear is not the same as restricted speed. Reference is that to two eighteen ninety three. The definition of the track is clear is replicated below. Two eighteen ninety three. The track is clear in means the portion of the track to be used and intended with the movement and unoccupied with the rolling equipment on track maintenance of the way equipment conflicting on track movement to intervening with the public highway cro crossing private highway rail rail, rail grade crossing outside physical confines with the railroad yard. Pedestrian crossing outside of the physical confines of the rear yard yard crass access crossing the protective files crossing the gates of the fully lowered position are known as the malfunction and two um, this is going to be qualified employees stationed in the, at the crossing and has the ability to communicate with the trains three at the crossing equipped with the flashing lights and passive warning devices when it's clearly seen with the, no traffic approaching the stop of the crossing and the leading with the move and the movement over the crossing does not exceed 15 miles per hour intervening with the switch fix but derails pre-line properly line with the intended movement the portion of the track to be used and identified intended with the movement the sufficient room to the contain with the rolling equipment and being shoved and then pushed shoving equipment to clear um to the clear when the train is observed to showing a clear track known than when it's riding in the in the at the point in this compliance with statute 21899 for example break jones job 1880 shove them cl shove them clear i stand in the clearance point on the engine side and i can see the track is clear the fra should ensure the employee providing the information with the engineer engineer the, this shoving movement includes a car count as required to in statute 22049 meets all the requirements of statute 21899 22051 railroad company com communication signal indication no information may be given the railroad uh, by radio of to a tra train engine crew uh, about the position aspect displayed in the fixed signal however the radio, radio may be used the train crew member to communicate information about the position may inspect the display with the fixed signal to operate the members of the same crew except those provided with the railroad operating railroad radio communication shall not be used in conveying the instruction that would be affected the overriding indication of the fixed signal Example of non-compliance with the statute two for twenty fifty one. A dispatcher must not say, must not state on the radio train XXX. You have clear signal. A train crew or train master sitting on the transport van along with the right away, waiting to ex expedite operations must not state on the radio train XX approaching signal MP twenty one. You have a clear signal. Road worker such as a signal ma maintainer must not invite the train crew to the aspect the clear identification particular specific signal. Another crew sitting in the siding must not advise the train schedule to overcome the pass. And then the aspect indication of the particular fixed signal. The train dispatcher must not advise the crew to the board. Indicates the proceeds of the signal in a particular location. No compliance. Six non-compliance would exist if the train dispatcher advised the crew to proceed and pass signal displaying stop without stopping. First non-compliance would include a road worker such as a signal maintainer advising a train crew to the, the aspect indicating the particular fixed signal. Non-compliance would include the train crew sitting in the siding advising the tra train scheduled to overtake and pass them as spec indicating a particular fixed signal. 
are examples of compliance with statute 220.51. A crew member of the train XXX is permitted to state another of the crew member to another crew member of the sa same train of the position aspect of the signal. An example would be if, during a shoving, the movement of the conductor is taking the engineer on the radio and states, train XXX, you can back up 20 cars, you can clear the signal of the M21 or the train XXX stop in the five cars, you'll have to stop and signal in 50 cars. 15 cars. Two compliance would include the engineer informing the conductor a fellow crew member in the rear of the train of the XXX is operated with a clear signal. Announcing signal aspects indicated railroad, various railroad across the country, the operating rules requires the engineer to announce over the railroad in the location of the certain block of the interlocking um, signal indications after the movement of their tr this a movement of the train. This practice is intended to enhance the primary alerting the other members of the crew located with the caboose trail in units of condition that may restrict the movement of the train. The crew members that, that are then required to the knowledge of the transmission ensure the train is being operated in accordance with the signal indication and this auxiliary benefit is to consistently identify with the location of the moving train. The type of the radio information which was strictly in accordance with the pertinent or operating rule will not be considered a violation of statute 220.51. Overriding indication of an automatic block signal preamble per the preamble the final rule railroad is permitted to use the railroad radio to authorize these trains to be either proceed for the automatic block signal displaying a stop indication or a stop to being displayed in the proceed indication if such action is taken in accordance with proceed and containing with the operation rules of the radio. Radio merely serves as an alternate method of communication. Signal systems taken out of the service. If an inspector happens upon a situation where the railroad has taken a signal system out of service and converts it to the some sort of manual block operation, such as a track warrant control or a direct traffic control, they should monitor the operation, asking appropriate questions to determine if the railroad provided with the sufficient safety operations. Inspectors might also co come across the situation with the segmented signal territory the temporarily taken out of service of the railroad provides with the temporary block operated expedited with the train's operation situation would take ex exists in double track automatic block signal ABS where one of the tracks is closed and maintenance such operations are uncommon but they may still exist nonetheless. Uh, 620-261 railroad trans transmission of the mandatory directive given a verbal authority to pass or stop a signal radio. Several questions of the reason with regarding mandatory directive dispatch or operator verbal instruction given to the train as an authority to pass the stop of the si signals to the FRA mandatory date of July 10, 1981 for the FRA position on the manner. They, that has been no change in the agency uh, position which is purpose of the compliance with the Part 221 that the train dispatcher is each. is a verbal instruction authorizing the train to pass an automatic block signal displaying a stop aspect that instruction should not be considered to be a train order or mandatory directives needed to comply with statute 2261 however the such railroad radio transmission must comply with all the requirements of the regulation authorized movement against the current of the track movement against the current of the track authorized by the train dispatcher over the radio is considered a mandatory directive that must be transmitted written down in compliance with the statute 2261 this is also true for the railroad authorizing movement against the current of the traffic of the tra terminal railroad which the entire railroad is designated in the yard limits Authorizing train to proceed within accordance with the automatic train control ATC rules. ATC rules are uh, repeated to emphasize that in the event of the failure of the automatic train control, the train dispatcher must direct the conductor engineer on the basis of the proceeding in accordance with the uh, automatic train control rules. They cannot, um, there can be no doubt the authority is to proceed with being issued with the train dispatcher and without it, the train is not permitted to dis proceed. This is the being in this case is a special such instruction for the purpose of the regulation would have been considered mandatory directives. Repeated in its entirety, in its entirety, preamble the final rule states the requirement of the train orders immediately repeated with the entire intended and entirety intended to prevent the use of abbreviated responses when employees called upon to repeat the contents of the mandatory director abbreviated terms should not be used. Um, class one, does the FRA have the policy of what inspectors should do if they find a track warrant filled out in advance? Answer. Part 220 is silent filing out the mandatory directions in accordance with the sum of the individual rules and procedures prohibits the practice. For example, one of the Class 1 railroads has operating rules that prohibits the filing out a track of authority forms in advance of receiving the information from the dispatcher. Other Class 1 does, does do allow the data location to be filed prior to dispatching, issuing any one of the fields of the mandatory directive. 
Question two, does the FRA have the policy regarding the railroad employees of the altering the mandatory directive after it is copied? After the incident, whether the mandatory directive was found to be altered after it is copied should be evaluated closely. FRA has issued a number of the numbered safety bulletin on December 3, 1996, after the CSX head-on collision in Smithfield, West Virginia. Considered for the concern, um, question three, should the inspector take the federal exam exempt expectation of the mandatory directive written on the non-prescribed such as napkin under the statute 220, 220, 2061 and 2043. Um, answer that the inspector may take the violation deficiency any time the mandatory directive is not transmitted the copy in accordance with Part 220 of the railroad operating rules with respect to the actual term form of the piece of the paper the mandatory directive is copied with the employees receiving the field of the of the railroad communication depends on exactly on the, the railroad operating rules procedures of the word. Some railroads given the specific instruction of the employees supposed to the account either in route inspection in particular prescribed for the form other than the railroad operating rules are not specific. Technical speaking, 2261B3 um, states the mandatory directive shall be copied to written and received the employees with the format prescribed in the railroad operating rules. Format means a general making up of something manner in which something that accomplished a general plan of organization or arrangement. Format does not refer to the form, the actual piece of paper that you should use to copy the information. Inspectors should not go on overly involved with the crew on use of paper towel or blank a piece of paper because that is, is, that is all immediately at hand. Um, Inspectors should consider a stronger approach to that seen pattern of the behavior that is more important that all the pertinent information is copied and repeated correctly and that requirements are the complied with. Question 4. It's a mandatory directive that issued the cell phone handled with different under the statute 220, 61, any other section of Part 220. In short, many of the inspectors can cite violations of statute 221, sorry, 22061 mandatory directives are issued to be screw via cell phone and landlines. Answer. Section 220.61 deals with uh, with only radio transmits the mandatory directives. However, if the inspector sees any abuse of the such as the engineering copy of the mandatory directives over the cell phone while the controls over the moving of the train, the inspector should take the exception expectation of the practice. Question. If it is permissible for an engineering pilot to copy the track warrant on a moving train, yes. With respect to the engineering pilot to the DOTX, there's no problem with such engineering pilot a railroad employee copying a mandatory directive move along as he, um, he, as he or she is not operating the controls for the matter, same with the apply with the no, normal everyday operation. Inspector should keep in mind, however, the form as ex experts the 22061B2 shall apply with the mandatory directive shall not be transmitted on employee moving equipment, and such the directive cannot be received in the copy with the impairing safety operation of the equipment. As is a reminder, the FRA made of 1998 eight amendments of two part 220, the agency, agency, agency that requires beyond the train all moving equipment. equipment which now includes on track equipment of all, all types. Question six The XXX Railroad is having a rule blitz. One of the force of the during the blitz is rolling up of the track warranty. Of the, the current operating rule requires that only the conductors copy the track warrant to be updated, writing in regard of the rolled up limit to the engineering conductor. They need to conduct the job safety briefing on the rolled up limit to the authority. The FRA accept, answer the FRA exemption is both conductor and engineer have identical copy to mandatory directives affecting the amount of the train. Therefore, the conductor copy of the track warrant must have not. Have anything to do on the on it? The engineer does have, or anything missing for that matter. On the railroad, uh, well, one railroad requires that if the train is stopped, the engineer may copy the information, and the train is on the move. The conductor may fill the information on the engineer's copy. Um, the FRA does not issue with it with, without with a with does not take issue with this practice. Question seven: Violate, um, voiding the mandatory directive means the making of the notion of the face of the mandatory directive merely signifies the document that has been fulfilled. An act of voiding the track warrant of the engineer or is on the moving train considered the violation of statute two twenty sixty one and B two. The rule states the files may void the mandatory directive the transmitted with the employee that received the copy. The state of the employee's name, the identification, location, readiness to receive the copy. The employee operating control of the operating of moving equipment shall not receive the copy. The mandatory directive, the mandatory directive shall not be transmitted to the employees of the moving equipment. It should be directed to be and not be receiving copied with the impair airing safety operation of the equipment and its emphasis added. The FRA the FRA has already considered the um, voiding of the mandatory directive such as the track warrant and deminious um, inconsequential activity. This reason the voiding purely administrative voiding of the track assisting with the train for the being confused uh, about the track warrant is in stale or infected which ones are not and whether the crew member writes a void across the document draws a line diagonal across it with a big X 
across it, even though the crew member has put on the time with the vote um, voided with the material does not rise to the level of copying mandatory. The regulation does not address the void mandatory directives only one of those have been followed naturally in the process of voiding the start to get, uh, to get to get too complicated and gets to be on the simple X or void at the time. The inspector should step in and take an appropriate action. However, the simple void takes them um, described as demenious or inconsequential in nature are not viewed as following with the scope of the mandatory directive statute 22061. All right, Part 220, Railroad Communication, a letter of interpretation covering accessibility railroad radios with railroad workers, definition control of the center definition, working radio, radio work, radio wireless communication coverage, expectation of terminal switching operations, clarification, communication redundancy. Originally signed by the firm Edward P. Pr w. Pritchard, Diagonal Office of Safety and Assurance of Compliance with the Regional Administration. All right, the attached letter of the CDE debt man of the FAAR further explains the clarifies the FRA position on several issues relating to the new division revised Part 220 radio communication that is intended to provide specific imperative guidance to the field concerning their issues. Always, as always, inspectors should continue to consider the specific circumstance of each situation in applying the guidance. Mr. C. Dedham, Executive Vice President, Safety Operations Association, American Railroads, 550F, the Strait Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2001. Or twenty, twenty thousand one, fifteen sixty four. Um, the, uh, Mr. Detman, dear Mr. Detman, thank you for your letters, January twelfth and March seventeenth, um, ninety nine, requesting clarification, and certification of the Title forty nine Code of Federal Regulation, Part two twenty, Radio Communication, which was revised and published in Federal Register September fourth, nineteen ninety eight. Volume 63, number 172, the beginning with the page 47182, the rulemaking of the product of the Railroad Safety Advisory Committee um, represents the Rail Federal Railroad Administration, the Association of American Railroads, and American Public Transaction, uh, Transaction Association, Railroad Suppliers, Effective Rail Labor Organization participated with the um, Railroad Safety Advisory Committee Working Group deliberations to update the regulation through the consensus process. I would please provide with the further clarification of your members. The first concern is noted with the January 12th letter sent into the mandate road workers workers that have at least radio monitoring transmission concerning the train movements part of the 22011 B of page 47196 is quite ex explicit in its requirements that each of the employees designated with the employer to provide with non-traffic safety the road worker group on the gr group or groups that each of the one worker shall provide where practicable will shall maintain immediately access to the work radio media access is defined in section 220.5 page 47195 media radio on the employee's person sufficiently close to the employee to allow the employee to make the receive radio transmission for the, therefore, the radio does not physically um, attach to employees. A uh, person must be in pro close proximity of the employee can access, initiate, the, receive the voice communication for safety purposes and invent the um, emergency. The definition control center in section 225, the definition 47195, and the location of the railroad, the railroad issues constru construction, instruction governing the railroad operation of the language is intended to include more than traditional trained dispatcher officials to act typically located on each of the division as well as largely centralized dispatching often are referred to as a network operation system and system operation centers, rail traffic control centers or etc to the call point joint dispatching centers such as Union Pacific Burlington North Santa Fe office located in Spring Texas the word location contained in the definition control center is to work with the provided with regulation defining control um, center type of definition word radio working radio the word location signal or capture the concept of the radio net needs only to be capable of reaching the appropriate center of the having the jurisdiction over the territory in which the transmitting party is operating for the way the language requires numerous station location instructions are used in the governing radio operation yard master officers Communication centers often referred to as control common to the passenger railroads, all terminals, and interlocking, although not in the failing under the traditional concept of the train dispatcher of these locations as control under the rules of the revised provided they are continuous main manned and trained and qualified employees during the time of the railroad operations that are completely capable of notifying the appropriate emergency responders should not should the need arise the absence either the requirements of the default would be the capability of reaching the train dispatcher joint so and the centralized dispatcher and center. The term repeater station is used as the definition of working radio, section 225, um, 
definition of page 47195 means the device extended to the transmission radio the radio signals operating from low powered radios for those originating with a considerable distance repeater station serve the boost of vitality of the transmission and clarity of distance the procedure is also used in the railway industry the term dead spot refers to the temporary lapse of the railway radio coverage the, as a FRA explained in the preamble the regulation of the final rule requires the radio coverage in all territories provided two exemptions while tunnels localized with extreme topographical temporary lapse to the coverage due to the atmospheric conditions. There are only one, oh, there, there are the only exception to complete the coverage of the required regulation. Although the distance coverage was consideration and deliberation of the work group, broad exemptions would neither provide nor relief implied with the two exemptions here and there. Neither should be considered implicit with any, any going and again, again with the purpose of using the repeater station extended with the coverage. In this case, appropriate railroad operation segment to close and gaps and the exemptions of the practical compromise to the system coverage completeness is viewed with the contrary in the tent rule. Regarding the meaning of the switching operations used as the definition of train, the FRA seems ambiguity with switching operations are the train initial activities such as coupling, uncoupling, blocking cars, or moving the cars one place into another. Um, with the terminal yard industry, the activities generally would not require the work radio redundancy communication under the Section 229 requirements of the train. Contrary to the brief belief expert I expressed in the letter, switching operations not referenced in part of 232 113 e the road may train intermediate train inter train air brake system instead of the part 232.13 requires that the train transfer the yard train movements not exceeding 20 miles an hour receive the term in industry and the transferred air brake and according to the movement of becoming the train under the part of the 220 would require the working radio communication redundancy Final request clarification in this letter of the March 17th concerns the communication redundancy requirements contained in Section 229, the requirements of the train at page 47 to 195. The rules state each occupied control locomotive and the train should have the working radio. Each of the train shall have the communication redundancy for the purpose of this section. Communication re redundancy is provided divine in the working radio and in other locomotive consisting of other means from the working wireless location. Um, if redundancy is another working word, the radio wor of wor would, of course, be required to cap capable and directly communicate with the control center. However, it is not required to reach an emergency responders. On the other hand, redundancy is another means of wireless communication, such as a cellular phone. The device is required to be capable of directly communicating with the control center, as well as off-rail systems. That emergency responders should need and is rise and inherit the cellular phone technology. Our red are added, added capable to enable many of the same small railroads, while typically not equipped with the radio system. Control centers satisfy the communication need for the base business as well as the emergency response requirements. Part 228 railroad communications. Regarding the optional option, optional communication by off rail um, rail system um, emergency responder, the intent ways to facilitate the direct emergency response and contact all by railroad are necessary. Over the benefit of needed accuracy, largely to short line to railroads with radio system short control sh with control centers do not exist. The rule was published in the Federal Register September 4, 1998, with the effect of July 1, 1999, for the bold section of 220 requirements of the train and 220.11 requirements for roadway workers. On um, the elapsed time between the two dates, considerable neither the um, elements nor the requirements of the rule were modified. Therefore, the effective date of July 1, 1999, will remain unaltered. I appropriate, uh, it is. I appreciate the opportunity to respond to your concerns. I hope this information is helpful. Send signed, George Galva. Associated Administrative Safety. Chapter 9, Rear End Marking Devices and Passenger Commuter Train Trains.